Hello, history optional students. I'm going to give you some idea about how to handle map question. As history optional students know it, the first question itself is the map. Map is going to give you very high score if you handle it with proper attention. The main purpose of this video is to give you a different perspective and also how I am going to give you a solution to handle this challenge. If you see this question paper, this is how UPSC is going to give you the question. They will give you in the question paper the map and in the map different sites are marked. You can see here, one is given here, two is given here, so likewise 20 questions are given. It is like a puzzle. You have to identify here, UPSC question paper says, question number one, they can give you any type of hint. Like they may say it is a Paleolithic site or it may be a Mesolithic site or it is a Chalcolithic site or a Harappan site. In our ancient part, different uh, archaeological stages are there. They can ask you anything from those areas. In this way, we are going to handle, we have to handle 20 such questions in first question itself. If you handle map marking very well, then it is going to have huge psychological boost to you. With this strong confidence, you are going to give very good quality answers from second question onwards also. As a result, in paper one, you will get very high scores. Map, you cannot neglect also, and to get 300 plus score, you have to give special attention to it. You observe here how UPSC question paper is giving the map. What kind of hints, as a student, we get from this particular image? This is Indian boundary. Since ancient times, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Bangladesh were also part of this cultural unity. This we call Indian subcontinent. That's why in our ancient times, Mauryan Empire included up to, this is the extent of Mauryan Empire. During Mughal time period also, to some extent, most of India is, is under centralized authority. As a result of this, we get map markings from Indian subcontinent. We get some sites in Afghanistan, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and rest of present day Indian boundary. You identify that, that is one insight what you get from this particular image. And another input what you get is, you can observe the latitudes and longitudes. This is going to be very, very crucial when identifying the very closely organized sites. You can see here, 23 and off, Tropic of Cancer passes through this area. While identifying some important sites close to Tropic of Cancer will help us to identify the exact location. For that, we should have some idea about uh, the location, latitude and longitude. If some site is having latitude below 23 and half, that means we can easily identify if it is far above Tropic of Cancer, we can have some other site. If it is below Tropic of Cancer, some other site. This is one hint which we are getting from this image. Another hint is the boundaries of the states. You can see the different states it will help us to identify clearly that this site belongs to, for example, this site belongs to Karnataka. This site belongs to Karnataka, not Andhra. This site belongs to Karnataka, not Andhra, not Maharashtra. Whenever such sites are there, which are, the, which are at the boundaries of the state, states, we will not, we need not to worry about in which state this particular site is located. This is how one input what we get from this particular image. So this is in Jammu and Kashmir, Rajasthan, Pakistan area, and in Gujarat. So likewise, we have 
it simplifies in fact this image is even simplifying our effort this is 2022 now i will show you 2021 now you see here there is no tropic of cancer line there is no political boundaries of the states and union territories only the borders are given only boundaries are given for the indian subcontinent now you need to identify it is going to be very challenging task now if you get this kind of map it is going to be a very challenging one still with this idea you should have some kind of reference in which location andhra pradesh is there in which location karnataka maharashtra tamil nadu in which state here in which part of the uh, india haryana rajasthan gujarat this side northeastern states you should have very fair idea otherwise this map is going to be difficult one that is why upsc is going to change one time it makes us simplified version by giving the state boundaries it is in 2020 so in 2022 we got this kind of even tropic of cancer also was given in 2022 but here in 2021 no boundaries also in 2020 it was given tropic of cancer and state boundaries and again no no political boundaries 17 16 15 14 13 12 12 is the first time this kind of map model is coming that's why from 2012 onwards we have reference this is how earlier they were not giving any political boundaries it was bit challenging for the students to handle in which state it falls particularly if the boundary site how we have to identify it this is the first idea how ups is going to ask now with this understanding in what way we have to prepare the next step is the preparation strategy preparation strategy should be now you have different state boundaries that's why you should have idea complete idea about different states what states and union territories india is having second one is different sites in that particular state in that particular state now the next sites in what way we have to learn means chronology wise chronology wise now come from the very beginning of prehistory in our indian subcontinent for example paleolithic for some sites we got some evidence paleolithic tools is the evidence of identifying a paleolithic site in certain areas we got even human fossils also that's why hominid fossil sites paleolithic then mesolithic this is the stages these are the stages in the human evolution in the human culture mesolithic then neolithic chalcolithic now you see hominid fossil sites we have to identify and again these hominid in which states we got when it comes to paleolithic again in which state we have different types of paleolithic sites now if i take suppose paleolithic sites if we have properly organized that now we know that questions can be like a paleolithic site in rajasthan or paleolithic site in madhya pradesh or paleolithic site in any other part of the country similarly mesolithic site in madhya pradesh mesolithic site in uttar pradesh it can be anything while you are preparing we need to prepare like paleolithic sites so paleolithic site state wide for example madhya pradesh then we should have different sites if you have fair idea that in madhya pradesh these are the important paleolithic site then by identifying suppose if question is marked in this political boundary 
and if they say this is a paleolithic site then you should identify that from your own list if you have this systematically organized one it is going to be easier for you to mark it then suppose karnataka tamil nadu you will get you will get then andhra pradesh wherever we got wherever we got the evidence of paleolithic so likewise paleolithic site chronology wise different now similarly mesolithic sites mesolithic sites state wide because every state will not give the evidence of paleolithic every state will not have mesolithic evidence important sites if we take we get few sites only but particularly for the free prehistoric period we have more number of sites as you have seen in the previous year questions and the previous year question analysis also i have given i will show you now most of the questions with respect to map we will get from prehistory paleolithic mesolithic chalcolithic neolithic megalithic likewise in some areas now in the chronological order neolithic comes chalcolithic comes for neolithic state wide we need to prepare chalcolithic state wide we need to prepare there are certain areas now it is also very helpful in writing the answers also if question is not in the map marking way but in the normal theoretical part for 15 marker or 10 marker or 20 marker in that kind of answer format also you can use these map evidences as many map evidences as possible if you use these many map evid as evidence then obviously you are going to get more than 50% and 60 65% of the score also in answer writing format also now you see there are certain sites which are giving this chronological order is not always in in the order for example there are certain sites it is giving evidence of both neolithic stage of life as well as the chalcolithic stage of life neolithic means beginning of the agriculture chalcolithic means using copper as a technology there are certain areas where agriculture started for the first time once agriculture starts we consider that particular site as a neolithic but at the same time they also started using copper then what kind of description we have to give for such kind of sites means that is neolithic chalcolithic likewise for example the same site it may give megalithic burial also while dead bodies are buried in a megalithic burial format then we have to give the same description like megalithic chalcolithic neolithic site this is same site upsc will ask in this format also they can map they can put a point somewhere here and it will show it will ask for example two for example let us consider two they may ask it is a neolithic chalcolithic megalithic or a paleolithic mesolithic or neolithic chalcolithic because certain sites have the evidence of both neolithic stage chalcolithic stage certain sites have the evolution from mesolithic to neolithic stage or paleolithic mesolithic neolithic stage if you prepare in this format it is going to be very easy then once after crossing prehistoric stage then straight forward questions are straight forward like capitals state wide in different states what are the different capitals ancient capitals then different caves what are the different caves in different states likewise unesco sites so up to harappan area up to harappan period we have so many sites if you include chalcolithic neolithic megalithic and harappans also most of the sites fall under that category and after that we have different categories like this now i will show you how many different categories upsc is asking i will give you this
let us see this in the map booklet the first itself i have given map pointing pyq analysis this analysis will help you in identifying how questions are coming in different parts now you see this i have given even the question number also in which year which question number is about which type of site now you see here administration site upsc the question paper has asked in 2020 seventh one as ancient administration center suppose if we go to here what is this 2022 2020 seventh one 2020 seventh one now you identify in which location seventh one is there seventh one seventh this one so in this part it is saying that ancient administration center now in the present day boundary it is falling under bangladesh area so now you see in bangladesh what could be the ancient administration center for example if it is about art center an art center this is the exact phrase how upsc gives in the question paper they will mark in 2012 now you see in 2012 how many fifth question seventh question 12th one and 18th one all these sites are related to an art center now in 2022 this one 16th one center of gandhara art for example if we go to 2022 16th this is 2022 2022 then 16th one let us go where is 16th one now you say this this part they are asking about what is this particular area this is showing gandhara evidence now we know that this part is gandhara somewhere here is amaravati in the middle madura school of art now you see how they are giving this mark and saying gandhara school of art likewise different type of questions used to come center of school of art 2019 in other area suppose if it is a buddhist site same buddhist site in how many ways upsc can ask about buddhist site it can simply ask a buddhist site another way of asking a site of a site known for buddhist remains a site of buddhist monastery buddhist center buddhist monastery buddhist monastic center buddhist site earliest chaitya gruha largest buddhist monastery shiva and buddhist temple complex so this is how upsc is going to give multiple ways all these areas will fall under any of the states while you are preparing for different buddhist sites if you prepare state wide in which state which buddhist sites are there then your task is going to be done capital for example capital site now you see how upsc has given different way a capital city now you see it is not about only one question in the same year they can ask three four map markings also from the capital this is the exact purpose in which part we are getting more number of questions so we will get that idea also for example you see here in 2014 these many questions are related to capital in 17 these many questions related to capital 15 these many questions related to cap now you see almost every year it is not about only one question more than one question is coming from capitals a capital city capital town ancient capital different ways of asking the same about a capital an ancient capital city ancient capital ancient capital city different terminology but related to capital likewise you see chalcolithic site if you take the chalcolithic in 17 one question 14 2 13 2 12 so many questions so same 2012 has having so many chalcolithic site now you see this megalithic chalcolithic site combination megalithic chalcolithic site 2016 
for example if we go 2016 3 2016 third one now you see somewhere this is the location third one they are saying it is a chalcolithic also megalithic also this site is having the evidence of chalcolithic and also megalithic burials this is how upsc is going to combine different likewise megalithic chalcolithic a neolithic megalithic chalcolithic site to 2013 number 9 for example if we go there 2013 2013 what is the site 2013 this is ninth one it is having the evidence of neolithic megalithic and chalcolithic 13 ninth one now you see in which part in karnataka area this site is having the evidence of multiple stages of life this is how we need to be very much careful about in understanding Neolithic also, Megalithic also, Chalcolithic also. Same site is giving the evidence, Neolithic, Chalcolithic, Chalcolithic period, Chalcolithic site, Neolithic, Chalcolithic site. Likewise, UPSC is going to ask in multiple ways. Then different churches, different uh, temple sites, Buddhist site, temple sites, education centers, important education centers across India, fourth different forts, Fossil sites, then Harappan sites. In Harappan itself, they can ask a Harappan site, a late Harappan, pre-Harappan, mature Harappan, likewise, early and mature. So it is like a Neolithic, Chalcolithic combination, early phase as well as mature phase. Historic sites, then hoard site. Coin, first Gupta hoard, hoard of metal sculptures, ivory hoard. Now you see, this type of questions are coming. Different types, Jaina sites, megalithic site, mesolithic, mass, neolithic, paintings, cave paintings. If you have list of cave painting sites in different states, you can easily identify market. These are for the last 11 years, 2012 to 2022. These are the different types and different question numbers in every question. This is the analysis. First, you need to analyze this to get a complete idea about handling map. So once you have seen the previous year map, you need to see sometimes political boundaries are given, sometimes state boundaries are not given. But we should be ready in understanding in which part, which type of locations are there. Next one. For this purpose, I prepared this material exactly to the demand of the question. If you go to index, just by seeing the index, you will get complete idea. You see here. This is analysis. I have given a chronological order wise. Hominid fossil sites in some parts we got fossil evidence. Hathnora, Odai, Pune, Bimbetka. This is sample. That's why I have given few number of areas. Now next one, Paleolithic. In Paleolithic, different region wise, state wide. In Rajasthan, which Paleolithic sites? Didwana, Mogara Hill. Different Paleolithic sites in Rajasthan. Suppose if UPSC says in Rajasthan area, by marking one point and saying Paleolithic, then you should be able to remember in Paleolithic stage in Rajasthan, which sites are giving the evidence. Then in Madhya Pradesh, Adamgar, Bimbetka, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu. So I have organized one is chronological order wise. 
this chronology will help you in giving the stages of evolution paleolithic stage mesolithic stage neolithic stage megalithic chalcolithic if you see then next you can go to next mesolithic sites again state wide while giving state wide also i try to give the different uh, region wise for example one is chronology time period wise easy to remember paleolithic stage mesolithic neolithic chalcolithic stage another way of organizing i organize one type of organization is state wide alphabetical order a b c like that but i try to take geographic wise for example in this area what are the paleolithic stage in this area up bihar west bengal then coming down maharashtra then karnataka andhra tamil nadu so from top to bottom you should be able to scan so from jammu and kashmir to till tamil nadu if we have any paleolithic evidence we should be able to identify it similarly we get pakistan area afghanistan area bangladesh area also so once you scan india map then in which location in which part megalithic sites are there similarly mesolithic in which part mesolithic in which part chalcolithic in which part megalithic likewise buddhist site temple site cave site painting sites likewise i have organized it in different formats first one first level of organization is chronology second level is geography wise and after that you will find this borjoham gofrakal this halur these things i try to organize again in the space wise the latitude wise you can say latitude wise for example from north to south suppose if you take karnataka you have so many sites for example neolithic chalcolithic if you take out karnataka then the northern most you will identify first in the index then second one likewise you will find so that you will be able to understand how different locations are having different nature of sites this is how by seeing index itself you should be able to identify in which state which chronological layer is having evidence after crossing the index coming to the actual description once you identify one mark is done another part is one and a half mark total two and a half mark for each question paper each question if you identify perfectly one mark you will get and if you write 30 words another 1.5 mark also so 2.5 out of 2.5 is 100% of marks is possible in map that is why if you want to get very high score in history optional you have to focus on map now hathnora same hathnora for example i have shown you same site may give different layers of evidence same site can be paleolithic also same site can be mesolithic also same site can be cave painting also likewise upsc can change in any way that's why i try to give upsc map question types in different ways how upsc can ask about hathnora it can pinpoint somewhere here that is hathnora it can ask hominid fossil site one way of asking answer is hathnora first hominid fossil that is also same answer paleolithic site prehistoric site upsc can ask any type of description but answer is going to be hathnora only then geography india madhya pradesh shior district and in which part this particular area is there 
river on which river this is located you hardly need 30 words and description discover different discovery and different tools which are identified animal bones identified grains identified then pottery identified different nature once you done this 30 words in that particular area madhya pradesh fossil site then you will identify then you will write sufficient hardly 30 words important words only you pick up and you write then odai same in tamil nadu suppose if tamil nadu it point pin point in tamil nadu and if it says fossil site then you can identify this one i have given the maps also then description then pune also giving some evidence near pune bimbetka another evidence here i tried to give wherever possible even the coordinates also coordinates now you see 22 and half because upsc itself is giving us to identify Twenty twenty two, you can see it itself is given. UPS itself has given tropic of cancer. Tropic of cancer passed to twenty three and a half. Twenty three and a half. Now you see when it comes to Bimbetka, twenty two and a half. That means just below the tropic of cancer. So if UPSC marks below the tropic of cancer and says which what is the evidence or what is the fossil site or paleolithic site or any type it can ask with this you should be able to identify exactly which location this is in the material itself you will get all these kinds to get 100 percent of the score in map suppose once you identify correctly and if you write uh, 30 words properly you will get 2.5 out of 2.5 this is the material which you are going to get as part of map course Paleolithic site in Rajasthan. Again, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, UP, Bihar, West Bengal. Come by latitude, latitude wise from north to south. You can scan entire Indian subcontinent in which locations different Paleolithic sites are there. This is one type of material you are going to get. In this material, you will get how UPSC can ask different uh, nature of the questions, different geographic location. You will get the map also here and you will get the description. This is one. Another one is you will get the same in a short format and image format. For example, Didwana. Now you see this Didwana mind map format because once you see mind map, high possibility of retention. Didwana, UPSC map type of question, Paleolithic, Stone Age, Prehistoric, any type of description UPSC can ask as a question. Then geography, country, state, district desert coordinates and map because in ancient part we have when it comes to country india also there pakistan also there afghanistan bangladesh also there then the description timeline climate these are the few points you pick up only 30 words and your task is done so likewise you will get two types of map materials one is proper text format another one is with image format so that in multiple ways we need to handle map otherwise map despite putting a lot of effort still sometime we are not that confident my purpose is to make you so much confident about map question so that you will get maximum possible score in map marking so this is how i am going to deal map i will simplify it for you those who are going for 2023, please join us. I will make map question very simplified so that you will get maximum score in map question. All the best. See you in the course. Thank you. Thank you very much.